Hey man, look at my motherfucking PS10, man. Add me on the PS4, man. Don't be a bitch, man. Add me on the PS4, man. Yeah, let's go, man. Hey man, what's up, man? It's your boy Noche Day here, coming at you with my very first story time, man. And this story time gonna be on how me and my cousin had bitches at the house and we got caught, nigga. <laughs> Hashtag going wrong. So yeah, man. This was about Christmas. Got down 2000, 2010. Me, me and my cousin like, oh well, well y'all know what I'm saying. Now, me and my cousin Larry, bro, we was cool. So we 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 used to hang around each other all the damn time, bro. So we we, we was just chilling on Christmas, bro. It was, uh, it was fucking, it was cold. I'm from Florida, so when it's got down 40 degrees, nigga, it's freezing. <laughs> I don't know where y'all from, but y'all probably from goddamn Minnesota shit. <laughs> so, he was older than me. He's old. He's like, right now, I don't know how old he is. He just had a birthday. I don't know. But at this time, I was probably 11. He was probably 15 or 14. I'm not sure. But he was in, he was in like, ninth grade or something. But we was just playing mad. And then he just decided to invite one. I don't know how this came up, but he invited one of his friends over so we was we was all it was three of us. We was all playing Madden Eleven, bro. And I don't know, he was trash. I was beating his ass at the time, but cause you know I'm a fucking goat. <laughs> so we we was playing Madden, and they was talking about they was talking about some girl, and then my cousin Larry, he was like, I don't know, they was talking about this girl. She was acting like she ain't know the boy. I don't I don't know the boy name. He was white. I don't know his name, but she was acting like she ain't know him. So they. Larry took a picture of the man. He, I don't know why. He just took a picture of him. Cause, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't, cause she acted like she didn't know who he was. So she sent the picture. He sent the picture. So they took the picture. Boom. Remember that, nigga. That's an important fact. So later, like, I say about two hours. He was only over there for like two hours, bro. And they left. He left. He went somewhere. I don't know. He was one of them badass white kids, you know. <laughs> So we gone, he gone, and me and Larry, we just, we just playing mad still, we, we doing that, and then we, there was these thotties that lived in the neighborhood, bro, straight, <laughs> straight thotties, bro, we, we was cool, nigga, we was cool with them, they was cool with us, so we was just chilling, we invited, we invited them over, like, to come inside or something, bro, I was young, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, so I was, I was acting like I knew what was going on, but I'm still young. So we just we, we we was they was at the house we was just chilling I don't know but I wasn't really doing nothing I it's his this his story time. <laughs> but I wasn't really doing nothing they, they, them two they was they was kicking you know whatever you know how teenagers do and I don't know what happened after that but then she left and then my mom she called me she was like um I'm coming home I can't. She was just like, I'm coming home. All right. She was supposed to be home like a couple hours later, but I guess she got off work early or something. So we just, uh, I tell Larry, all right, my mom's coming home, so we're going to have to clean up. So we just started cleaning up. We cleaned up everything. Everything was spotless, nigga. You know how when your mama say she coming home, you got to clean up and shit. You already know how that shit go, bro. So the house spotless. The house clean as fuck, bro. And we, I don't, hold on. The house is fucking, fucking spotless, clean, nigga, and my mom, she come home. So, I'm, we wasn't allowed outside until my mom got home. So, my mom get home, we asked, could we go outside? She said, yes. She, she said one of her friends was coming over. It was a good lady friend. She said she was coming over. So, we just went outside. We we had went to the Thotty's house. We went over there. <laughs> her mom was at home this time, so... We had went over there. We was like, we was just chilling and stuff. She had a she had a little sister, but I wasn't with that yet. I don't know. But we we was they was chilling. I don't know what they was doing. I don't know. And it was getting real. Like we was over there for a long ass time, bro. So I don't know. We we was chilling. They was chilling. I don't know. They was chilling. I wasn't doing nothing. And we was we just decided to go home because it was getting real late and it was cold as hell. It was about goddamn forty degrees. <laughs> It was 40 degrees, bro, and we we was like, damn, all right, so it's cold. We just went inside, and then as soon as we got in the motherfucking door, bro, like, I'm telling you, like, as soon as we got in the door, my mom's friend, she was like, oh, well, I'm going to go. She, I just felt something. Like, it was fucking awkward as hell. Like, something was going on. 
Like, you know, like, when a family member dies something and, like, everything awkward and they, they got to break it. Like, it felt like that. It was some weird shit. So, we, we, my mom was like, oh, so who was over here today? Who was over? I, I looked straight at Larry, bro. <laughs> I looked straight at Larry. Who was over here today? She looked at me. I was like, nobody. So, she asked Larry. And I was like, nobody, because, you know, we not snitching or nothing, because we, we ain't, you know, bitches or nothing. So, I was just like, I don't know who was over here. And then she was like, and then she just snatched me up. You know how that shit go. She snatched me up. And then she, 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 <laughs> this what this what this is going to make sense, that nigga. She snatched me up. She gave Larry his phone. Larry left his phone in the house when we was at the whole house. So, my mama went through the man's phone. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why, man? Black parents so fucking nosy, nigga. They need to mind they damn business, man. So she went through the man's phone and she she seen a picture of um of the boy. I think his name was Chance. I'm not sure, but she seen a picture of Chance on, on the couch. Like they took a picture on the couch. So she seen a picture of Chance on the couch. His phone ain't had no password, no nothing, bro. So she just seen that shit. Oh my god, bro. So she was asking who all came over here today. She ain't even know about the hoes or not. So all we had to say was only him. But you know, our young guys, we didn't know what was going on. So we we, we just started telling on air. <laughs> we started telling everything. We told about the hoes. The hoes was over the house. Like god damn, bro. So that that shit was it, bro. GG. So she said, take off your shirt. Punishment time. Take off your shirt, man. So. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in my head? I'm like, damn. What? The? She said, so me and Larry, we both took off our shirt, bro. She, she said, go outside. What the fuck? It's got, remember, it's fucking 40 degrees, nigga. She said, go out fucking side. What the fuck? Go outside, nigga. No, no, no. So, she, she, she pushed her ass outside and locked the door. God damn. She locked the motherfucking door, bro. GG. So it's cold as hell. I'm goddamn trying to snuggle up, nigga. I'm trying to fucking I don't know. It's it's I just I just remember it's fucking cold. I'm trying to snuggle up, and then she she called us in the house one at a time. He was first. I had to stay my cold ass out there. The neighbors walk off. God, <laughs> the neighbors fucking walking by like what the fuck is going on? We like nah, we just we out here real quick. Neighbors out here walking by and shit, you know. So, oh, it's good shit. I'm looking at the gameplay, you know. But, the, so she called us in the house one at a time, bro. So he go in first, and I don't really hear nothing, but I know I know he got a whooping. Like, my mom whooped my cousin, so he got a whooping by his auntie, <laughs> basically. So she whooped him, and then it was my turn to get my ass beat. So I just go in there. She she asked me. She said she I got in trouble basically for lying. That's what I got in trouble for. So more of the story is do not fucking lie. I I lied and I got my ass in trouble. So I don't know. That's what I got in trouble for. And then goddamn, she she said that there was cameras in the house. She didn't know. She told my dad, and then my dad told me later what what really happened. But she told us that it was cameras in the house. That she she checked the cameras to see what we was doing, like on some nut shit. So I knew it wasn't on camera, so I knew something wasn't adding up, bro. But that that's what fucking happened. And I don't know, man. We just got our ass beat, man. Fucking harsh ass punishment, nigga. It was cold as fuck, bro. I don't know, bro. But more of the story is, nigga, don't lie, nigga. Don't leave no motherfucking evidence behind. <laughs> Delete everything, nigga. Be smart. Be smarter than the rest, bro. But, man, that's my first third time, bro. Like the video, bro. Like the motherfucking video. I repeat, like the motherfucking video. All right, subscribe if you're new, bro. That shit helped, too, bro. I'm just, I'm up and coming, nigga. But my PSA and all that social media stuff going to be in the description. Nigga, hit me up, bro. Anytime, nigga. I'm not on my Hollywood shit. I will reply to you, bro. So, bro, thank you for watching this story time for 9 minutes and 30 seconds right now, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that shit, nigga. But I'm out, bro. I should buy no chill day. <laughs> I'm out, bro.